What's going on, Internet? What's going on, YouTube? I am the Mass Man, and in this video, I'm doing another uh, viewer question. Um, I will, if you don't know who I am, if you don't know what I do, I am a regular guy. I'm a common man. I'm a poor man trying to figure out how to get himself out of poverty. I do these videos so that I can communicate with real people in real life and, um, through that, through building relationships, figure out a way and a strategy for improving my life. So I don't mind answering questions. I don't mind proving to people that I'm down to communicate, that I'm down to talk. As much as anybody wants to talk to me, I'll talk to you. I'm not an expert. I don't know everything, but I'm down to learn if you got something to teach. So <clears throat> here we go. My next question, and this question is from Johnny Guns, I believe. This is from Johnny Guns on YouTube. I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna leave this um, email in the, in the description box this time, just because he asked me to like edit it and make it right and I don't feel like doing that right now. I don't even have I don't even have word on my computer. So I'm just going to leave it like it is. I'm just going to read it to you and answer it. I don't know if you've already answered this. You have millions of videos it feels like and even if the title don't mention it, you may still have spoken on it in a video, but how do you look at others slash viewers? That's the topic. How do you look at others slash viewers? Okay, that's what I'm going to put in the topic. I am curious what you think about how you will be viewed slash perceived by prospective slash potential employers, suitors, friends, fans. Well, the only people that, that can... I, I am poor and I don't have experience as far as it comes with working. So the only people that would hire me is a bunch of low level jobs. So I could work my way up at some low level jobs. Um, but that there, there, there's a reason I do things the way that I do. Them. Like if you notice my channel, how it's different from other people's channel. You don't see like suggested videos in the side of my channel. It's just me. You don't see anybody else. Well, that was that's because one day I was looking at my channel and I was looking at the suggested video, the, the other people who were suggested uh, that you listen to. And I saw a gay dude and I was like, oh, how can I get him out of here? I don't want people thinking that me and a gay dude have like similar videos that we're doing the same thing that we're the, that we're the same, that our brands are similar and I couldn't like adjust it. I couldn't, you know, tailor make it the way that I want to. So I, so I felt like I just have to change it to exactly what I needed it to be. And that's just me by myself. I speak for me. I'm the only person that speaks my mind. I'm the only person who speaks my opinion. I'm the only person who has it. I'm the mass man and I'm the mass man by my goddamn self. I didn't go on as far as I'm going to go trying to be popular. Now I'm going to appreciate the fans that I have. The few fans that I have, I'm going to appreciate them and I'm going to, I'm going to give them the best I got until I can't give them no more. You know, what else I'm going to do? I ain't got nothing else in life. Nobody else gave me an opportunity. So from this point on, I'm going to tell the, I'm going to tell the facts. I'm going to tell it like it is. I'm going to shoot from the hip. I'm going to be sincere. I'm going to speak the truth, speak the truth to power. So if they want to deal with me, they're going to have to deal. If an employer, basically somebody who wants to give me another job because this is my job doing YouTube videos is my job. That's my job. So if somebody wants to give me another job, they better compensate me and help me for my main job. This is my main job. So if you want me to do something that's going to 
take away from me doing this, take time away from me doing this, you're going to have to compensate me for that because this is a job that I love doing. I love this job. I love it. So you better so you better be offering me something that's worth me not doing my job. Um, potential employers, suitors. If are you talking about girls? Girls, I want Janelle Monet. If I don't get Janelle Monet, it ain't gonna be nobody else. I'm gonna be by myself. I'm gonna be alone. At some point, I may get some pussy here and there. I may br I may lose my virginity at some point. You know, to some woman, you know, a couple of women here or there, but I'm not pursuing that. I have no interest. If I can't get Janelle Monet, I'm not interested in nobody else. That's the woman I want. I've made a decision. I've made a decision on the woman that I want. That's my soulmate, as far as I can tell, to the best of my knowledge. So if I don't get her, ain't going to be no suitors. It's going to be a bitch every now and again. Because if a bitch is dealing with me, she going to have to pursue me. She going to have to try to get me. She going to have to seduce me because I ain't putting no effort into getting no bitch that ain't the bitch I want. Friends, I didn't met, you know, what I didn't met was like, I think is going to be like one of my best friends that I've ever had in life uh, in vlog easy on by doing YouTube videos, talking about some silly shit. I really think we're going to be good friends, like for real. I really believe it. We may not, you know, because she seems like a businesswoman. So her business it may take her away from having the time to kick it with me and talk to me. But really, really, um, I think that I found a good friend. I think I found a friend for life in a vlog easy on YouTube fans fans I want people who support what I do who like what I do and who want to see me do it better I want to give the fans I want to give them what they want and I want to and I want them to stay with me that it's gonna take me time to get to a certain point I'm not trying to be famous on YouTube that's why I disabled all that bullshit because I'm trying to find myself I'm trying to get to know myself. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to learn who I am and have the type of life I want. I don't believe that it take that it takes millions of people to get something done. I may be able to do something with the people who are already with Vlog Easy and Johnny Guns and the Blunted Alien and uh and the other couple of people who listen to my videos who want to who want to Samuel Wilder. I believe just talking to the the four or five people who fuck with me, just y'all, just y'all, y'all are enough to change my life forever and to make me somebody that I never could have been on my own. So I don't need a million fans. Just the ones I have already is enough. Just we just need to build together and work together to get something. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with what I have. I'm fine with it. I'm cool with it. It's good enough. Do you think an employer after viewing a few of your videos <clears throat> do you think an employer after viewing a few videos of yours will look upon you favor favor spit man spit I don't want to spit on my computer will look upon you favorably as someone who is engaging thoughtful with a willingness to learn and who is perhaps bold or courageous and clearly has something to offer and that employers who are overlooking your applications CVS etc are missing out um I honestly I'm not putting in any new applications I put in about I'd say about 40 job applications before I got hooked up with Sam's Town Casino. And I lost my job working at Sam's Town Casino because a woman got into it with me over a mop and not telling her, giving her good enough directions on how to go find the mop. That was enough for me to lose my job. So I'm not really in a, and I'm not really in, I don't really have the ability and I'm not really in a rush to go find another job. I'm cool. I'm comfortable doing this job. This is the job I want.
This is the job I want to do. And I can show people that I ain't got no problem working. And there ain't nothing wrong with my mind. I'm not a genius, but I have above average intelligence. And I'm willing to work all goddamn day doing what the fuck I want to do. And I do it as much as I want until I feel tired and I take a break and I step away from it. But I'm but I'm persistent. I'm consistent. I'm determined to do it and do it well, do it the best I can. Yeah, I suck. I know I'm not good at it, but this is the best I can do. And I'm trying to get better every day. Or do you think an employer after viewing a few of your videos would not look a, would not look upon you favorably, but instead form an opinion that decides you are brash, vulgar, scatty, unearing, obstinate, that would be maverick who would be a spur in their side. <coughs> One thing I want you to know, this guy told me he wasn't smart. He wasn't that smart. Listen to this. Listen to this gold shit that this nigga saying and telling me he wasn't smart. That was some bullshit. This shit is hard to read it because it's so goddamn. I need a dictionary, nigga. God, nigga, what the? Nigga, what the fuck is obstinate? What the, what the hell? O B O B S T I Stubbornly adhering to an attitude or course of action. Okay, that's obstinate. Yeah, I'm obstinate. I'm obstinate. Definitely, for sure. Um, more of a problem than a solution. Uh, I don't care what they think. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done playing the game. I'm not. It, it, I'm on. I'm on live or die being the mass man. It, it's either going to kill me or it's going to free me. I don't give a fuck. I'm putting it all out there. I'm putting it all on the line. I don't give a damn what happens. Basically, how do you think they would describe your character and what worth do you think they would place on you? I'm not worth shit. I'm not good at nothing. I don't I don't have any skills. Any business that would want to that would want to have me be a part of it would basically just be wanting me to be there as an intern as somebody to teach, somebody to be taught, I mean. So I I don't know what exactly can be done. Suppose 10 employers were sent your videos and were told to make a decision based solely upon viewing those videos whether they would employ you whether they think you would fit the company image and principles how many do you think would say you're employable for them it could be three small four medium three large companies in all different industries probably mainly ter terry terrier sector god damn what what the hell what the hell is the terrier? What the hell is that? Nigga. The hell? Hold on. T E Terrier. Third in order. Ter 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 er ter she er Tertiary, tertiary, a, a tertiary sector work. So third in order, degree or rank of being the first period of the Sindonic era. So third degree, tertiary work. I guess that's, I don't know what that means. I don't know what tertiary work is. The dictionary didn't help me understand it. It just helped me say the word. 
And what do you think of an employer who would actually be willing to offer you a position based solely on watching your vids? I'd appreciate it, but I'd have some demands. I don't I don't give a fuck that you want to give me a job. You better give me something. You better give me a reason to do it. I'm not comfortable in my life. I don't like it, but I'm willing to work another job. But you better make it easy on me to do it. You better not give me a hard time. You're not going to give me a hard time because I'm going to walk out on you in a minute. You ain't got a goddamn thing I want. I don't want to work for nobody else. All I want is my girl. And to work with Tariq Nasheed, I want to work with Tariq Nasheed and I want to and I want to work with and be the boyfriend of Janelle Monet. That's all I want. <clears throat> Anything other than that ain't got nothing to do with me and ain't got no interest for me. So if you want me, you better pay damn well to get me. I don't believe you're going to. So I ain't even thinking about no job other than the ones I create for myself. <sighs> Would you look at them more suspiciously, thinking they might be capricious, that they're just trying to be charitable to improve their image? Or do you think it will show they have an ability and or courage to identify and pursue talent, that they are willing to be innovators, pioneers of a kind in terms of being different and how they think of employing people? Look, I just go and get the money because if they going to fire me, you know, after a while, I don't give a fuck. I'm not leaving Louisiana. I mean, I'll leave Louisiana as far as traveling back and forth from Louisiana, but I'm not moving anywhere to live. You better fly me or do whatever you got to do to get me to and from Louisiana where I live. I live here. I don't live nowhere else. I don't want to. So if it's. So if you got something for me, you better give me a, you better make a way for me to, you better make a way for me to get it. You better make it easy on me and I do the best job I can. I learn, I, I do what I can do, but you know, don't, don't fuck me around. Just give me a way that I can just do the work and I ain't got to think too much. I don't like thinking too much about some job. I don't like to overwork myself. The same sort of questions above go for suitors women friends fans even so for example what do you think the woman the women who watch your videos think of you and your personality are they all up in your dms laugh out loud uh if 10 women who aren't currently watching your videos were sent your vids how many of them do you think would regard you as a potential partner what value what value you think they would place on you? Friend zone, fuck buddy, boyfriend, husband, etc. I ain't going to be nobody's husband. I done already came from a family that I hate. I hate my family. They took good care of me. Well, not good care of me. They took sufficient. They took sufficient care of me. I didn't die under their care. So I don't want to be in another family, not a traditional family. So I don't want to be nobody's husband, boyfriend. I only one girl that I want Janelle Monet. Fuck buddy. You got to give me time for that. I need, I'm, I'm scary. I'm a virgin. I'm 26. I ain't never been around no pussy. So bitch, you gotta, you gotta get all the tests. You got to be tested for everything. So that's a lot of work. If you want to fuck me, bitch, you got to work real hard to do that. If if you willing to do everything that I would put you through to make you fuck me or to 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 allow you to fuck me, basically, if you willing to. And I'm not even I'm 300 pounds. What you you think I'm going to fuck the shit out of you, bitch? I'm 300 pounds. I'm unhealthy. You see me coughing on these videos. What kind of. What kind of long stroke dick do you think you're going to get? It ain't worth it, bitch. It ain't worth it. You don't need to fuck me. Leave me alone. I'm, I'm working on something. I'm trying to get somebody. I'm not the one you want. I'm not who you want. <laughs> I'm not who you want. Leave me alone. I'm trying to get this girl. If you like me, help me get the girl I want to get. Maybe she can get me healthy and maybe she'll let me fuck you one day. Uh, friend zone. I'm, I like being friends. I, I don't feel that there's anything wrong with having a friend. Like I say, I think Blog Easy is a friend. And I, I think that she got other dudes and other things that she's interested in doing. And I ain't trying to I ain't trying to turn a good relationship, a good friendship 
into some dirty, disgusting shit. No. I like friends. I need a lot of friends. All I want is female friends. I mean, I, when I say all I want is female friends, I'm not saying all I want is for females to be my friends. I'm saying the only friends that I'm really looking to have are females. The only people that I want to be my friends are females because I trust females and I like females and I want females around me. So the only friends I want are female friends because I like their space. I like their company. I like the way that they think. I like the way that they act. I like the way that they smell sometimes. So I want female friends. I don't want no male friends because I'm tired of jive ass talking niggas that ain't about shit. I'll have male. The only thing I want to do with a man is work together. We can work. I'll be a business partner. I don't want no male friends. No more. If 10 people who wanted a new friend were sent your videos and they had to decide based solely on viewing your videos, do you think you would get friendship offers? Laugh out loud. What worth do you think they'd give you? It depends. I mean, I'm a hard nigga to deal with. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a difficult case. I done been through a lot. I'm a cold blooded motherfucker. I'm I'm mean, I'm angry, I'm mad all the time, I'm mad all day long. So I don't know how they feel about me and how they feel about what I say and what I do, but you know, all I can do is be me and grow as me and try to find the people who will allow me to be myself. Do you think you have the personality, the right approach to fans? What kind of value do you think your subs place on you compared to other YouTubers, etc.? What do you think your subscribers think of you? You can branch you can branch your own question to flesh out the topic a little more. Okay. I think the handful of people who I care about the ones who interact with me. I care about the ones who speak up. I care about them, the ones who make their voice known, who makes their presence felt. All I can do is all I can do is work with the people who who are working with me. I'm not getting on here to to just talk to him myself talk. I don't want to be on here just to get famous. I want to get here to fix my life and not like Iyanla Van Zant where I just cry on somebody's shoulder. I'm looking to build relationships that can help me for the rest of my life. That's what I'm doing here. So recognize that I'm not fucking around. I'm not bullshitting, not a little bit, not an inch, not an odor. I'm trying to get somewhere and I'm determined. I'm focused. I mean it. So the people who send me questions, I think that they that they recognize that I'm sincere and that I'm willing to dialogue with them and I'm willing to talk with them. And all they got to do is send me a little bit and they can get a lot out of me. I'm willing to pay the cost, whatever the cost for friendship. I need friends more than you can ever imagine. Now, I said that the only friends I want is females, but, you know, I'll accept male friendship, too, if if, if, it, if it sounds like a dude that's really helping me. I think Samuel Wilder is like a friend, too, like somebody who really took the time and takes the time to help a nigga out. So I appreciate that nigga, too, and um, some other people who will remain nameless. But I'm 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 just trying to do the best I can at living and I, I'm unwilling to just allow myself to die and stay in the gutter and not get anywhere. I'm 5150 for real. That shit that Corey Holcomb was talking about, I'm the personification of. I repeat myself because I want you to get the message that I'm that they call me crazy. They call me crazy. They say I'm bipolar with psychotic features. They say that I'm psychotic. That's what they say about me. They committed me. I'm judicially committed. I'm committed. So I'm so I'm going to be committed to the black community. I'm going to be committed to my own self-preservation. That's what I do this for. But that's enough for right now. Uh, let me know what you think about my video. Leave it in the comments. Um, rate the video. Like it, dislike it. Be honest. Subscribe to my channel if you want to 
keep up with the videos that I'm producing. Uh, if you want to send me a question or you want to give me a subject for a video, you can you can send that to me at the Mr. Massman at gmail.com. You can eat. You can follow me on Twitter or find me on Facebook at the Mr. Mass Man. That is all I have to say about this subject. So I will see you in the next video.